Okay, going to try this one more time. Third time's a charm, right? <clears throat> Video about fireplace insert. Vogelzang, did I say that right? Vogelzang. Vogelzang. Model TR004. This thing sells, I think, starting at around $1,100. Good Lord bless us with this one for four. 50 bought it from a place over in Mechanicsville, Virginia, uh, off of Craigslist. It was new. Uh, I just installed it last night. I'll get a flashlight over here. I'll show you a couple things about it. I looked it up on the internet. I did a reviews on it. Some people say it's great. Some people say it's terrible. That it will smoke you out. It will smoke you out. If you don't read that instruction manual, and install it with the with the with the instructions in mind. Okay, you're gonna have a problem because the deal is that outlet right there for the firebox is not sealed to this metal jacket. The jack, the airspace jacket, where that little fan down there blows around the jacket. There's a gap. It's not welded. And if you if you put it in there, if you just shove this dude in the hole in the fireplace and put that surround on it, it's gonna smoke you out. It's gonna choke smoke you, man. Anyway, I took a piece of 26 gauge steel and put it in there on an angle. That front right there is actually bent back about an inch and a half, inch and three eighths, and slid into the lintel across there. And then down the, down the sides and back, I hammer, hammer drilled it and used one inch dry pins in there and then caulked it with high, high temp uh, caulking. That's 800 degree caulking. Now this thing is not 800 degrees and hold hand on. Uh, the closer you get to the pipe, the hotter it is of course, but it's nowhere near 800 degrees. But this little heater, I lit this thing last night. Went down to 41 outside last night. And it stays around 80 degrees in here. I'm going to show you the layout of the house. All right, this den's about 500 square feet, okay? So that's what we're heating primarily. Uh, but now, i got a long hallway. There's a bedroom there closed. Bedroom here. Bathroom. Second bathroom. There's the thermostat at the end of this hallway. Here's my kitchen. I'm showing you this for a reason. My wife likes bacon. That's why all the ovens. <laughs> Dining room. And we like eating. That's why all the tables. And then uh, essential oils. Um, and the little junk cabinet. And then the office. Okay. So. It's my wife's thingy. So. I'm back here in this part of the house. That furnace has the house at 74 degrees. Somewhere in there, there's an indicator. Do, 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 do. There. That's a tough focus. All right. And we got the thermostat set on 69, 68, 69. So it don't come, ain't come on all night. I loaded this thing. I put one log, one log. Last night, about 10 o'clock, and four this morning, quarter at four, got up, had embers in there, and I put three small logs in there. And almost two hours ago, I put this log in there. This thing will burn one log. After you get a fire bed in here, you can put one log in this thing. And let me show you what this thing do last night. I guess it'll still do it. I'm going to open this slowly. When you open it, I ain't doing it so much now. But it kind of quit burning last night. It, it slowed down. Yeah, see that? See the difference? Now this has got a catalyst system in it. This is an EPA stove. And that catalyst system don't appear to be doing anything right now. When it gets loaded with smoke up in there, that thing will burn like a gas, like a gas burner, that thing will up there. Not consistent. It's sporadic across and back, but it's really cool to watch. And, um, but that, it, that thing, that log will burn right there. That log will burn three or four hours. Just one log. I read on the internet that three logs the size of a four before burn about six hours. And you know what? I believe it. If you had good hardwood to put in there, I'm this might be, uh, I'm not sure what that is. With some wood here, we bought the place about a year ago. And um, but now the, you got to read the instructions because it tells you, it tells you, that the wood needs to be seasoned like two years. 
Now that's relative, I'm sure. You can't season it outside uncovered, you know what I mean? It, and then he actually talks about that. It said wood that you find in the woods, a tree that's already down, is to be considered wet wood. And it has to season just like any other wood. <clears throat> now, I didn't just go out there and grab some old green log and throw in this thing and then burn in one log at a time. But anyways, I'm excited about, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I'm excited about this thing. Um, <clears throat> um, last year when it snowed about a little over a foot here in Virginia, southern Virginia, uh, we burnt this fireplace in a hot blast heat. Uh, see, see that wall right there? That's an addition. This, this, this is an addition. That wall, this bedroom right here on the corner is an addition too. This, this is the original house from this bedroom on this away. This bathroom here used to be a bedroom, and somebody changed it to a bathroom. See, it's, it's right; it ain't finished yet. It was like that we bought it. I, I'm working on a little bit of time redoing the kitchen, different things. Um, these were the original floors; they were covered up. Carpet had two layers of floor in here. What a job! Get this out anyway. So then I had to put this. I built this peninsula with the good Lord's help with old shelving I had, because little did I know there was a wall had been taken out of here. They had laminate floor in here on top of tile and everything else. My wife glued in almost fourteen hundred toothpicks in this floor. And then we took cut off tool and cut them and sanded it. This floor here was actually maple. I believe it was maple. It's really really light, so we stained it. I need to put a strip across here. All I knew, you could pull up the carpet right here and look under there, and we knew the hardwood was in here, our tongue grew, but we didn't know the condition or anything, so we pulled it out. How do you like that purple carpet? We looked at that, we're like, wow, that's purple. But you know what? We said, hey, we'll just leave it there. Oh, by the way, with that, with that um, um, fireplace insert, keeping his house warm like this, we got new windows put in uh, a few weeks ago, so... Um, and so far, I really like them. Lifetime guarantee, as long as this house stands, and they are Castle brand windows, and now they're expensive, okay? They're expensive. We got 22 windows, all right? Uh, one was a garden window, they threw this one in actually, and um, 22 windows. I'm gonna tell you, $17,000 for them windows, but they guarantee them windows. I lost my focus. Doo -doo -doo down to the caulking. Even if a lawnmower throws a rock through the screen, they'll come fix it. And don't you know who's going to call them, too, if something happens like that. Anyway, just thought I'd share this with you. Um, it is a good unit. Um, the price kind of high. They are made in China. But uh, if you want to heat with wood, uh, I don't know how long it's going to last. But um, And it's not real heavy to handle. Um... I imagine it weighs, oh, just guessing, probably weighs <clears throat> maybe 150 pounds. It's got fire brick in it, but the steel's not real thick and glass door, see, so, uh, but it's got fire brick in it. But anyways, I like it a lot and I'm excited about it, and I couldn't find any clear direction on the internet. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of strange when you read about something and one person says it's the very greatest five stars and the other one says it's garbage, no stars or whatever. And um, so I just thought I'd try to lend a helping hand uh, and let you know the scoop on these things. Installed. Now the installation says to, uh, to run it a continuous pipe all the way up the chimney. Right? I think it said stainless actually. But that'd be tough to do. There's a damper in here, and that damper's only like five inches wide or so. And it's kind of deformed at that. It's about three feet long. But um, but I knew this, this fireplace drew really well, pulled really well. And so when I put that piece of metal in there and then measured the center and scribed the circle and cut that hole, the snips was, when I cut them, Little pieces of flakes of paint was coming off that metal, and there was so much draft on a cold chimney that it was pulling the paint chips up the chimney. So it, it has an awesome draft in this chimney. And of course, when you put heat in it, it'll pull harder because heat rises. So, uh, but it, it does have to be independently flued. I made that term. I hope it's okay. 
uh, from that thimble, from that, from that outlet, to whatever you're hooking to. You can't just, sh you cannot just shove this thing in a hole and put the surround on it because it will smoke you out. It's not built like that. Anyway, thought I'd share. God bless. Good day.